Philip, um, first of all, nice to meet you in our blues program. And uh, you're a couple of days now in Holland and did some gigs. So far, so good? So far, amazing. You were having a great time. We're having a really, really great time. And the people here in Holland are so warm and, and the music scene is fantastic. And uh, we're really enjoying ourselves. We're happy to be here. We're thankful to be here. First of all, you're um, now your own leader of your own named group. Yeah. And uh, before that, you were guitarist at uh, Melissa Adewich and, of course, the great late Jeff Healy. What's different as doing the second guitar in the band or the leading man? Well, I, I mean, those were all, those for me were like my education. The way that I look at it was, uh, you know, I finished coming out of high school and I started playing with Jeff Healy. It was like going to university, University of Jeff Healy. And then after playing with Jeff, I uh, had the great opportunity to play with Melissa. And so uh, that was like going for my, uh, you know, my doctorate after my, you know, or whatever, or vice versa, you know, it was like a, so another, another few years at school. And then now I've graduated, it's time to do it for myself. A couple of years to Philip Sage at a university. Hey, you know what? We're always learning. We're always students. So that's a lifelong journey. Yeah, you're, uh, you're taking not a guitarist under your wings. Oh, you know what? I, I don't know. Maybe one day. Who knows? We'll see. But first of all, your, your inspiration for your own songs, they're uh, heavily blues, ray, uh, blues rock influenced. And uh, how do you come up first? Music or lyrics? You know, uh, most of the time with, uh, with the music. And then I'll try and tell a story within, within the song. Sometimes the words will come first, but usually it's the music and the melody. And then the words will, will I'll try and weave the words in afterwards. I ever wrote a song, in your opinion, that is musically a great song, but has uh, the, still lyrics to work on, or otherwise, they say, oh, there was great lyrics, and the music could a slight have been better. Is it a work in progress, your song? So otherwise, it's another question. Well, I think, I think each one of them, the, the hardest thing is to like, uh, it's like preparing a meal. You have to know when it's done. You know, you got to know when to stop adding stuff to it. It's like, yeah, and, and there's kind of a process you have to go through where you could keep thinking that, oh, I could make it better, or I could write a bridge here, or I could write a second bridge, oh, I could make the chorus better, oh, I could do... At a certain point, you just have to let go. You just have to let go, because you're going to write more songs, you're going to write another song. So, um, and that's what I'm trying to do, is just create the best music that I can in the moment. Audience reactions. Um, is it that much important to you that you say, oh, the crazier the audience get, the better I can play or do now, I, get, I just do my thing and audience uh, have to enjoy it. Wow. Do you want to win them over? Well, I think like anybody, you want to win them over. I mean, it's, of course it's nice to be accepted and be embraced and have a warm welcome. Um, but, uh, you know, I can't control what everybody else is going to think or feel. I just got to do the best, and if I'm honest, 100% honest in the moment, then that's my job. That's what I have to do, is be 100% truthful and honest. Well, it would be hard to say it in just one or two sentences, but, um, you know, one of the things that that was always so beautiful about Jeff is that, um, you know, he could go from sitting backstage before a show, just, just kind of pensive and just sort of there before the show and cool, showtime, walk on the stage, and he would rip the whole place a new asshole. I mean, he would just tear it up. And he always walked and carried a confidence about him. Not, not an arrogance, but a confidence. He was always in control. And it was something I, I always admired and thought was really beautiful. And um, uh, he, he just, you know, he always had this, he was in control. As soon as he started playing, it was like you knew it was on, game on. <laughs> so you thought to yourself, that's the character uh, I want to be, in control. I think, you know what I mean, it's something I'm striving towards, you know, is to, is to just do the best that I can, but, but be as uh, confident as I can. You know, and um, but I think as well, just being in the moment, being completely truthful and true. What 
does mean uh, music means to you? What does music mean? To yeah, you? could you live without music? Oh, I don't know. If you, <laughs> I don't. You know, I mean, music is the color in life. You know, music is the art is what makes us see these. For me, that's why we see colors outside. This art is all of that. It's you know. So you're gonna you, you're gonna paint tonight on stage? Well, yeah. I mean, we're gonna play what we feel today. Every day is every day is different. We don't ever play the same way, and um, so tonight is going to be uh, an extension of what we're feeling. See on your guitar that uh, the sound must be pretty important to you because the looks aren't. Yeah, well, I'm very grateful to have this guitar. I love this. I love this guitar, and she sounds. She sounds great. It's yeah. It's she. It's. What's that? Where can you see? Is it she? Right there. <laughs> there she is. What, uh, what's the history? It's a '63 Stratocaster, 1963. And um, you know, I got it. I got it about uh, ten years ago, and um, it's been my main guitar ever since. Love guitars at home, you know, special I, ones. Well, yeah, this is probably my favorite one, and uh, this is my favorite one. Um, I don't have a, a lot of people have like fifty hundred guitars. <laughs> I'm, I have, I have ten, maybe ten um, ones that I ones that I play that I'm always inspired when I pick them up. You know, other ones, I do have other ones that I don't play, and there's no point in keeping them, I'm gonna sell them. You know, I don't wanna just have guitars to have guitars, you know? It's like you wanna have things that you're inspired by, you know, and every time you pick it up, you're like, oh, you just wanna play it all day, so, yeah. It's, uh, surely it's an interesting uh, uh, thought, and I think it's a good one, but a lot of guitarists I wanna have that special guitar that makes it special. So. Last question, Philip Sage in the air, in the air, in ten years. Yeah. Do you have a, a roadmap for yourself in your mind or in, in your heart that yeah. that's going to bring me as a musician? Well, I think I think the um, I know that my plan, what I'm doing, is uh, creating music that will reach people and resonate within people and as many people as possible and hopefully inspire them to do things in their life that they love. It doesn't have to be just, it could be music, it could be sports, it could be teaching, it could be cooking, it could be making things, whatever it is, you know. Um, I hope that they feel the true uh, love that goes into the music that we make and that it inspires them to do that in, in their life. And so to reach and touch as many people as possible in that way. Put something good out there. Couldn't say myself any better. Thank you for so much for this interview. Thank you. Have a good day.